Hello guys, welcome to a new video. In this video, we are going to see direct text question paper review. So, this time, you know, um, when compared to December exams, this paper is little tough. Whatever been tested and you know, whatever uh, severity the questions were tested for December is not applicable for this January 22 exam. So, what student felt is that it's a very difficult question paper. The reason why it is difficult is all the expected areas are not tested. In the institute material, there is a you know in the in the first two pages you will be able to see the kind of proportion of marks allocated for each of the topics. Like for international taxation, there will be 20 percentage of the marks will be allocated, right? So that 20 percentage is not given in the question paper. And uh, similarly comparison to inter and final there will be some differentiation here there are some questions tested with a very big uh, you know variation i would say that uh, the marks are given for very lighter chapters but not that much important from students perspective so those are the areas tested so let's see the question paper pattern first so like we normally see the question paper pattern would be 20 marks for mcq and 20 marks for fill in the blanks and the next 60 marks would be for problematic areas and here so first thing is that um, 20 marks these 40 marks are not easier that's what students felt even those mcqs and you know uh, fill in the blanks require a lot of uh, you know in depth level uh, you know study first study level preparation is required in depth study level preparation is required for mcqs and to fill in the blanks that is one thing Second, six marks have been asked under for TCS, TDS there is a, some uh, tiny portion have come and uh, 12 marks have been asked for international taxation and uh, there is a plain sum that is a case study at the end that is for uh, 12 marks, it is a, a kind of a simple plain case study, why should we furnish PAN, this is a question asked and the mark they have given is 12 marks, 3 plus 9 marks have been given here. So, so that is what we say that you know when question comes in a very plain way students will give their own way of understanding of why should we furnish PAN and what are the consequences for PAN and stuff. They should not feel little confident about the kind of marks should be awarded for these kind of questions that is one thing. So what I have observed is that uh, there is no 5 8s of income, there, is, there are no questions from the 5 8s of income. There is a question from trust and the ATIA deduction sum has come. There is not that much of importance uh, for PGBP, but as a partnership firm, there is a sum has come for six marks, and uh, for appeals, five marks sum has come. So these are all the questions so far tested, and uh, so when you see normally, you know, a final level student will expect a case law in a written examination, international taxation in a written level examination, along with the double taxation. So when a student cover these areas, the student can expect at least 25 to 30 marks. So before going to the exam, normally I will tell to students that you, know, you should keep these things ready. You should not you know, miss anything on these areas because these are the mandatory expected areas from examination perspective. By seeing such a question paper like this, I can't say that you know, these are the things we can expect, these are the things we cannot expect. The question paper is altogether different. Students have you know, spent their uh, you know, time just for the purpose of preparation and you know, they expect something, it would be completely different. But what I would say is that you know, at a final level, we should not expect uh, you know, the expected level of questions or patterns. It may change. If it changes, we should adopt towards the pattern. That's what I would say. Say for example, I know every question paper, there will be some 20 to 25 marks will be given for unexpected areas. Lighter areas are tested for 20 marks or 25 marks for each of the subjects. So what I would expect is that from a student perspective, if you are going to prepare for June 2022 or December 2022, please do not skip any of the chapters. Please don't mark any chapter as important and non-important unless we get a clear confirmation. If case laws are there, case laws are important. If PGBP is there, PGBP is important. Capital gain is important. Is 5 edge is important? Yes, it is important. 
but see from inter perspective and final perspective what are the differentiating factors appeals revision settlement commission advance ruling these are the areas exam would be really interested to expect from a final student so we should focus on these areas you know at least you no know, like i expected there would be some 5 to 6 marks will come from these areas my point is that <clears throat> everybody would be able to score some 40 to 45 marks even in the difficult situation these 5 to 6 marks will decide you know the group clearance at times if you have scored really well like 55 this 6 marks will help you to get the exemption so that is my point and uh, now all the exams are over now <clears throat> students are little uh, frustrated about direct tax paper especially and uh, few people are you know little frustrated about uh, corporate law and uh, scm and F- fm are no moderate paper where students can expect 60 plus that's what uh, i have observed so normally when you expect uh, final level examination there will be one paper will be little tough and three papers would be average and you know and between this four paper one paper would be easy to score 60 plus not that much of easy but uh, where if you have really prepared well you can expect 60 plus in that paper so i would say that costing and uh, fm are the two papers in this exam not uh, law and uh, direct tax at times law and direct tax will come in that case you should be ready with the uh, fm and uh, costing to be little tough so i have seen few question papers where lpp has been tested in the written examination that time fm and uh, law or like moderate where students are can expect 60 plus at times so it will it will shuffle examiner will read your mind if you expect direct tax would be the tougher paper next time it's not going to be the same they will you know remove the toughness from uh, direct tax and move it to corporate law so they will play according to the minds of the student please don't uh, you know choose papers and go read everything if you are starting now use the time properly i have already you know uh, put a video like how to plan effectively for your exams please go through the video if not so what i to be precise what i really meant is that if you have prepared well for your exam if you have prepared for the worst for your exams you can at least score 45 to 50 marks if you have prepared for the worst and you know exceptionally well with respect to expected areas you can score 60 plus so this way you can get group clearance so i understand many students have faced lot of difficulties you know to getting this uh, to complete this exam first say few students have uh, you know have not joined any of the jobs and you know they are dedicating their time purely for exams and you know when question paper comes like this you no know, they little they'll be like completely you know uh, dropped and they feel that you know this online exam is you not know, taking their overall time and it, it, it's not going to work it out but what i would feel is that you have went you have completed your intermediate and you now you have entered into the final there is no other way there will be only one way either you need to clear the exam or you need to drop off so that is the way the professional exam should be either you now win the battle or you lose the battle you lost all the time so nobody will recognize for a inter student that is for sure so if you are in the final level please make sure that you have a strong goal that goal is to complete your final no matter what and for that first step would be you need to cover all the subjects all the topics no topic should be ignored so that is the message that i am currently giving and uh, i'll be planning to take some classes for uh, cma group 3 and this video is not for marketing and this is really for serious students who are really interested to take up the classes for group 3 please go through and uh, go through my demo video for sfm i'll be taking classes for group 3 for the upcoming batch if you are really interested enroll yourself i'll be giving my uh, mobile number in the below comment section please enroll yourself if not uh, not a problem this is not a marketing video only real interested student i can put my effort and you know i can convert student to secure good marks so this is something will start by uh, the third week of january uh, that's all i have and uh, thanks so much for watching the video